morning internet good and fresh this morning here oh it's taking a real chilly turn but uh, anyway so we're going to crack on with 550 some more today i think we're going to do the chain first uh, so we can get the side cover back on and uh and then we'll just see where we go with the build with the build up really probably going to get all the wiring done today hopefully anyway so i think first job of the day is i want to swap the bikes around so i'll put the 600 down there and the 550 can come here this light's far brighter uh than the uh double unit there it's one of the led ones so uh, i think it'll be a bit better to work on it here uh, which is where it started its life being stripped down and uh, i'll uh, just have a bit of a swap round first so uh, let's go on with that and then we'll get on with today's work okay thanks very much <laughs> See that the chain was really really long yesterday so let's feed it back around again and we'll get a bit of an idea how much needs to come off. think this is a uh, good moment to pause here for a second you can see now uh, you know I'm doing a correction these shouldn't have been painted so I'm correcting that mistake now and the reason they should have been painted it shouldn't have been painted is it makes it really difficult to see I guess the the line or the notch for the when you're adjusting the chain um, so obviously I'm taking it off with the wire brush drill attachment but you can see there what I was just doing is I you know really gave it some then you know and it was uh, the brush was in contact with the paint for a couple of seconds and you can see it's hardly I mean okay that was before but you know let me just do another bit Okay, so it's just gone through there, but you know, how many seconds was that under the uh, wire brush? 
quite a lot. So that just shows how good the... Because um, these were painted in the base black and then they were uh, clear coated with the 2K lacquer. So it just shows how hard, good and hard, that clear coat lacquer is coming out of a tin. You know, there's still the naysayers that will say, oh, you shouldn't use any of them. You know, and I appreciate that, yeah, getting a compressor is going to be better. And I'm still intending to buy a compressor so I can, um, you know, do the painting probably uh, more efficiently and probably in a cheaper way than buying it from the, uh, you know, buying it in really expensive uh, aerosols. But my only point here is just look how hard it is, you know. So there's not much detriment to the fact that it's come out of an aerosol, in my opinion. You know, when you can uh, think that uh, that's the level of protection that it's getting. It's not just going to chip off, is it, as soon as a little stone hits it. So it's pretty good. So let's get this finished. <laughs> Wow, this is one long chain.
Hey internet, so some progress today, a um, bit slow going, seems to be one step forward and two steps back unfortunately. Um, every time I try and do anything uh, I end up having to fix something or come up with a workaround really. So um, as you can see the wiring harness is loosely in place now, I'm starting to get that connected up. Um, but the uh, chain of sprockets are on, had some issues with the front sprocket, clutch covers back on, clutch is working fine. Uh, one of the things I was a little bit concerned about when I got the bike is, uh, and I didn't really try until after I'd stopped it, was the uh, gear selecting, and it seemed really vague, like... Uh, there was potentially some issue with the gearbox, but I'm glad to say that uh, having um, been fiddling with it today, uh, now the clutch is working again and having put the gear lever back on, there's nothing wrong with the gearbox. Well, certainly that I can see. I mean, obviously the proof's in the, sorry, the proof's in the trying it when it's fully back together, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it seems fine. So it's uh, coming together nicely. Um, that's it for today now. I've, uh, I've, I've had my fill, to be honest with you. So uh, uh, it's becoming a chore. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to leave it for today and I'm going to come back to it tomorrow. It'll be a nice early start again tomorrow, but I do have an appointment at 11 o'clock. Uh, I do some IT on the side and uh, I've got a business customer to go and see tomorrow. So. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll definitely get a good few hours in on the wiring tomorrow. It's pretty much wiring full steam ahead now. Uh, there's not really anything else I've got left to do. Uh, I've had to modify the back of the headlamp. Um, the headlamp was for a GT550. I just couldn't get a GPZ uh, headlamp, you know, a D1 headlamp. I told you I bought the... Uh, a bowl for the uh, rear of the headlamp off an eBay seller and it came and it was wrong. It was a round headlight. So, uh, you know, they are a bit difficult to get a hold of. So I thought, well, I'll, you know, make a GT 550 headlamp fit. And um, it looks fine. It's going to go on no problem at all. All the wiring's coming back or coming through the back of the bucket. I hope it's going to be deep enough, but uh, we'll work that out. Um, but I've just realised, where do the front indicators mount? Um, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to have to deal with that because there's no bracket. So yeah, uh, the other thing I've got to worry about, oh, the other thing I've got to sort out is, under the seat, where the battery was, this is all that was there. And... Uh, I really don't know what that is. I mean, you know, I guess the battery, well, the battery was in it, but, you know, it's obviously been made by someone. I, I don't know whether it was original fitment or or what it was really, but, you know, he's put these, somebody's put these big screws in and, I don't know, I, don't, I didn't really want to put it back in. I thought it'd look a right old mess, which is why I haven't painted it, but I'm going to have to, deal with that somehow um, but yeah you know it's the frustrations of the uh, building it back up really and I knew I was going to have some uh, and this is the sort of it's a lot easier to pull it apart and put it back together uh, thing isn't it so uh, it's, it's like with the front sprocket and that screw uh, the bolts for the uh, washer that holds the sprocket on and the damn thing I was getting nice and tight and it just snapped off. Oh, I didn't over tighten it, it's just it was an old bolt. Thankfully it came out really easily so uh, you know hopefully uh, it wasn't too much of an issue but yeah I'm gonna tidy the workshop up. It's feeling really messy and it gets in my, uh, it does my head in when it's like this a bit and uh, we'll leave it for today. I'll go and get my video done now and uh, We'll uh, we'll catch up again tomorrow. So yeah, another another good long day. I'll only be out for an hour or so, um, I imagine. So yeah, we'll get a good few hours in on the bike 
probably five or six hours in. Hopefully we can really make some headway with the uh, with the wiring. See, one of the other things I just noticed, the uh, pen I used for, uh, well, it was um, a thick pencil that I used for marking some of the masking tape. Uh, it's it's uh, it's rubbed off, so it's gone. So uh, you know, it, they're, they're really faint now. What I wrote on there, so. It's another exciting challenge though, wiring, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll just have to see how we get on. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for sticking with me. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's video and, uh, you know, the, the one from yesterday as well. Um, 550 is coming along and it won't be long before it's back on the road, I'm sure. So stick with me, subscribe, click the bell icon, give me a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks very much, Internet. Bye.